morning welcome back to a new video well Despina was gone I did some work in the chicken house and something happened before Despina left few days before so let's update you on what exactly happened the work I did in here was few weeks ago so there was no snow it was a completely different weather so that's why it's a bit looking different but yeah let's get to that Uh, today in this video we have to do something that we've been avoiding to because we thought it wasn't really a problem but two days before Despina left as I am alone now uh, we had a bit of an incident when one of our chickens got attacked by a hawk eagle whatever it was a big giant bird that size something like that right in front of my window I walked from the kitchen into the bedroom and I see out the window a big giant bird standing here so I didn't see you know the brown chicken being under it but it was blending with the leaves here and now it's barely any feathers really left but yeah I opened the window it ran away and I saw the chicken so yeah that happens so today's plan is to make a little enclosure for them and put a net over it so hopefully no birds can attack it from above because foxes are not really coming here because of the geese and the goats and the sheep but from above they're not protected so let's see what we can do today <laughs>
They might not be the best or the most nicest looking doors, but they'll work for now. All of this is for temporary until we figure out what do we want to do with the chickens. But I think for now it should separate the goose and the chickens. So we can have the chickens in an enclosure and goose here in the front. I did take away a lot of the goose space that they had, but should be okay. They don't need to fly around in here. They just sleep and they go out in the day. Should be fine. Good morning, chickens. Good morning, chickenies. So the reason we didn't post this earlier was because we wanted also to make an outside enclosure for them so they're all sealed up from any attacks from above or any predators. But we didn't do that as I got carried away with the counter, I had to finish the roof and then I started the counter which took a lot longer than I expected. So I didn't finish it, so yeah, they're living inside pretty much every day. Uh, we don't risk going them out, there's nothing outside right now for them, so inside is perfectly fine. With uh, grains and stuff they get their food in there. And this is where people sleep. It's not so much space, but all they do is pretty much sleep and sit here. They have their water. And we redo their bedding with straw like this, just so it's not so, uh, uh, so much of their poop, because they poop a lot. Uh, the best is to have them like in a place where you can clean the poop easily, but in here it's a bit harder. So we're just going to stack it up, and then we clean it once every like two weeks or something. Uh, they poop a lot and really fast, so it needs cleaning quite often for three gooses. So their ideal location is not probably inside of a house either. Their ideal location is outside in a kind of like a cage or outdoor movable enclosure. Something like that is more easier where it goes into the ground and that's it. But yeah, this is how they live. They just have straw so they can sleep, they have their water and that's it. Some people asked exactly how they sleep, but this is how they sleep. Yeah, it's not a, a big space, but I mean... Yeah, it's they have the big, big space, enough. but we have to make this so they don't bother the chickens. All the because time. They, yeah, the chickens also have that side now. Yeah, they, they have the whole lot. Other side chickens in theory have a lot more space, but they're also all day in inside, and they're yeah. all day out. So they, they don't even they don't even want to go outside the chickens. No, chickens <laughs> don't want to go out. You open the door, they don't leave. They want to be in here. In here's pluses, so it's like not freezing temperature. The water doesn't freeze. It's much better. So let's finish and close it up so it stays warm in here. Yeah. Who are you walking on ice? Isn't it not a bit cold? These feeties are so cold. Now that will be warm. Our white chickens are still not making eggs though. I don't know why. They've gotten all their feathers back, so there's no excuses. Our brown chicken's making an egg every day. I think. Maybe even two. chickens are staying they give us like two eggs a day uh, I don't know how that works with one brown chicken giving two brown eggs maybe it's one in the morning one in the evening or something like that I don't know why. <laughs> yes it's really <laughs> weird um, but yes yeah, so that's where they're sleeping uh, it's pretty warm in there. It's definitely pluses the water does not freeze at all and it feels warm in there when you go in in there from the outside 
But uh, yeah, let's uh, let's go feed pilpils on the other side. Yeah, they have quite a good amount of space, and anyways, they don't do anything. They just sleep early. So yeah, let's go pilpil. Our geese pilpil are going to sleep early uh, because it's really cold, and someone asked if their feet are okay, and their feet are the ones that are actually getting frozen, like not frozen but cold, because uh, their body is really nice, insulated, warm. They could stay perfectly fine, so they straight away sit down and warm their feet up into their uh, fur, not their fur feathers. Uh, so yeah, they need to get a bit earlier in and there's not much to eat anyways with the snow covering all the grass. So we're giving them this uh, food which is like compressed hay with some minerals, some vitamins inside. It's for any animal but we're giving it to pilpils as their kind of extra food towards the gr with the grass. Uh, as much as they can find in the snow. But yeah, they're going in early so let's give them some foodie. They're gonna be happy and crazy. We're giving them three buckets because they are monsters, they eat a lot. So I hope you enjoyed this video, uh, it's a bit of a maybe a short one, a bit of a different one. But yeah, we have some other questions to answer, which is uh, kind of like our gender of our new geese that we got. Uh, it's a bit of a mystery what they are, so we're gonna answer those questions in one of these upcoming videos. But yeah, hope you enjoyed and we're gonna see you next time. It's very cold, let's go inside. Good night, Pew Pew! Pew Pew? Pew Pew?